As I lay in bed, I heard scratching on my bedroom door. When I opened it, I found my dog outside, whimpering and bloody paw prints leading into the darkness. I received a photo from an unknown number. It was a picture of me, sleeping, taken from inside my own bedroom. My daughter always talked to her imaginary friend. One day, I saw a child's handprint on the inside of her bedroom window. I woke up to find my front door wide open. When I reviewed the security camera footage, I watched myself sleepwalking out into the night. After my grandma's funeral, I couldn't stop smelling her perfume in my room. When I checked her old vanity, I found a note saying, I'm not gone yet. I kept hearing whispers coming from the attic. When I went up to investigate, I found a hidden room with a chair facing a one-way mirror. My wife always complained about the cold spot in our bedroom. One night I woke up to find her sleeping next to me, but her body was ice cold. I found a locked diary in my new apartment. As I flipped through the pages, I realized every entry was about me. I entered an empty elevator, but it started going down instead of up. The doors opened to reveal a dark underground floor that wasn't on the building's layout. While browsing through old family photos, I noticed a figure standing behind me in every picture, getting closer with each photo. You were just a baby. I moved into a new house and discovered a hidden room in the basement. Inside I found photographs of me from different angles and times, all labeled with my name. I woke up to the sound of laughter coming from the closet. When I opened it, my daughter's lifeless body fell out, her eyes wide open and a smile carved into her face. I found an old camcorder in the attic and decided to watch the tapes. The footage showed my childhood, but there were always glimpses of a faceless figure watching me from a distance. I woke up paralyzed, unable to move or speak. I saw a shadowy figure standing at the foot of my bed, whispering words I couldn't understand. While exploring an abandoned building, I found a room covered in strange symbols. As I took a step back, the symbols started glowing, and the door slammed shut. 